Hello everyone, Harry Baldock here, editor at Total Telecom, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Luke Hendricks, Director General for the European Competitive Telecommunications Association. Luke, thank you for joining me today. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me to speak today. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, we're here today to discuss Europe's telecommunications landscape right now, and I'd like to start by asking you about a recent press release that ECTA issued earlier this month that argues against national governments banning Chinese suppliers for geopolitical reasons. Uh, could you just talk a little more about your key concerns for the industry here? Yeah, indeed. In fact, what, what we have is that several of our members have deployed uh, those, those providers in, in their network, in the core and in the run, so the, the mobile network operators. And uh, in fact, they are very concerned that uh, they would have to phase them out and replace them by, by other providers that say they may or may not have actually in their network. And uh, this would also see their, their choice in terms of suppliers reduced. And this will have different impacts. So first, there is lots of uncertainty if they are able to continue to use their existing provider or not. The second thing is that uh, it will increase their cost on the short and the long term. Not only their uh, capex that will increase, so the cost they have to pay for the equipment, but also their operational cost, the opex, eh, on the short and the long term. Eh. For example, they will have to retrain people, the cost might be more expensive. And also a very important point is that the power efficiency might also have a huge impact because that we know that uh, operators are doing lots of effort to reduce their carbon footprint and so the power consumption is also a very important aspect. The last aspect of the telecom operators that is very important is in fact it will uh, delay the implementation of 5G and reduce their innovation capabilities. In addition to that, it will also have an impact for the downstreams on their customers, so on the business customers of them that represent all the other sectors of the economy. It's interesting that you talk about the economy here because uh, I know you've said in the past that networks really have the capacity to be a major part of Europe's economic recovery post COVID-19, but that this depends really on a, on a diverse ecosystem. Could you expand on that? Yeah, that, that's, that's a very important element because let's, let's look at what happened. If we listen, for example, to the president of the European Com uh, Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, it, the expectation and the hopes they have in the digital transi transition and the digitalization of all the other sectors of the economy is very high in terms of growth and in terms of uh, addressing the many challenges that uh, our society is facing in terms of uh, environment, in terms of uh, uh, climate, in, uh, and so on, in terms of energy efficiency, and so on. So that's, that's a, uh, the first key element. Then what we also see is that we live in a, in a global economy, and what we see is that the industry 4.0 is absolutely looking, uh, in fact, to, those, to applying those new technologies, 5G, high-performing computer, uh, artificial intelligence, to improve their production, to make it more efficiency, to improve their speed market, to improve service efficiency, and be able to develop new business models. So that's very essential. So to resume that is that the expectation to all the other sectors are very important. But to achieve that, the, the very much foundation of all those digital services that the other sectors of the economy will be able to offer or to benefit from depends on the, the, the variety of products and services that the telecom players will be able to offer them. So the more players we have, small and large, and the more type of services that are diversified services that the telecom sector and more generally the digital sector is able to provide to all the other sectors of the economy, the more their capacity to innovate will be, uh, will be improved and fostered. And hence, the more they will be able to create new business model, generate growth and generate jobs. I guess my final question for you is, is what steps you'd like to see regulators take to kind of really ensure that, that competition stays strong in Europe? Yeah, so that's, that's a very, very important point because uh, what we see today is that some believe that we should have European champions and so on, but they forget that the, that the big uh, US tech companies are, are not the results of giants, but all started from nothing. And so that's, that's, that's a, very, a very first point. And so we should never take competition from granted. And if we look now, is that certainly looking forward at 5G and the impact 5G will have. 5G will be a revolution for the business, for, for, for the industry, 
and for business customers. So all in all the other sectors of the economy. And if we look today in Europe, business markets remains very concentrated. So it's more than time that the regulators in applying the regulatory framework and the new code of electronic communication, they apply them in a very pro-competitive way. That's very important. Not only regulators, but also policymakers. For example, let's mention the case of Portugal, where they have designed auctions with favorable conditions to allow a new entrant to enter the market. So that's, for example, one very important. The other other aspect that we need to make sure is that they consider really what, what in their decision and how can they explain in their decision uh, that all the decisions will help the business market become more competitive. So that's very fundamental. And the last point that they need really to look at it is to make sure that they do all what they can to reduce the cost to deploy the networks. Certainly a very interesting time for uh, Europe's telecom sector. Luke, thank you very much for your time today. You are welcome. Thank you very much. If you would like to hear more from Luke on the topic of competition in Europe's telecom sector, he will be speaking on a related session at this year's Total Telecom Congress. Joined by speakers from Etno, ABI Research and the Body of European Regulators for Electronic Communications, the panel is set to discuss themes of digital sovereignty, harmonised standards and global collaboration. The session takes place at five past three on October 28th. We hope to see you all there.